Hello. Today we'll be coming at you with the oral flex. Brett will be challenging me with three different grades of. Is this three? One, three, four different grades. A, B, R, S, M. One, three, five, and eight. Woo. All right. And I'm gonna have to see if I can nail them yes. all with my perfect pitch. This is more of like a test for my piano playing. But let's see how it goes, guys. So, grade one. To tap the pulse of a passage of music in two or three time played by the examiner. The examiner commence playing the passage and the candidate will be expected to join as soon as possible by tapping the feet. Stressing where the strong beat falls. The candidate will then be asked to state the time. <laughs> it's four, like, four or is it two four? Two. Well, okay, it's only, it can only be two or three times. Oh, two or three. Okay, it's two. Two. Well, that was easy. Yeah. We'll make it harder. No repeat. Alright, next one. To recognize the rhythmic change to a two bar phrase played twice by the examiner. Wait. Is it bad that listening to English is hard for me? <laughs> I was like, wait, what did. Yeah, Can you I'll say just that again? let me just read it there. What to do, hey? They make it so complicated. This is, this yeah, is, my just my sing is back what I play. That's what it should be. <laughs> yeah. To recognize the rhythmic change to a two bar phrase played twice by the examiner, with the change being made in a second playing. The candidates will be required to recognize and tap and describe the change. The pulse will be indicated first. The examiner will be prepared to play both versions and a phrase of the second time if necessary. Yeah. I'm nervous. Dude, that's hard for grade one, no? Yeah, it sounds pretty complicated. It's pretty complicated. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, I need to play it twice. Okay. Oh, you already got it. But then what's the second one? Bro, you messed up that's <laughs> right. Oh, the C sharp went from two beats to one. Yes, nice. That's not easy for a great one. Yeah, are, are kids supercharged now or something? I guess so, right? All the Ling Ling prodigies. That's hard for a great one. Okay, so the dotted crotchet D and the quaver C sharp became two crotchets. Yes, nice. But that's not easy. That's not easy. I know. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It's so subtle. All right, should we just keep going? Yeah, let's go. Did I pass grade one? Yes. Did I ace it? Yes, hundred percent. Ooh, there. Grade three. Tap the pulse of the piece of music, which will be oh, okay. Okay, there'll be two. Right. You just guess it was two or three time. That's it. Oh, or four thing. time. Two, three, or four time. Oh, okay. You better pulse the two. And yes, four I will. Join in with your tapping as soon as you can. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Please do the accents properly. Are they meant to be accents? No, no, there's no accent. Oh, there's no accent. Then it'll just be like... But I felt four. Yeah, but it's two-two. Oh, it's two-two. You, two and four, it depends on how it's played. I think usually the examiner accents the first downbeat a bit more. Uh, yeah, 
then that's two. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Right. Cool. Cool. Can you do it again? I'm just accent downbeat. Two. Yeah. Yeah. One more. Sure. It's gonna be three. All right, you got it right. <laughs> Recognize and explain a rhythmic or melodic change to a four-bar phrase. Four bar a major. Phrase. A minor key played over twice. Oh, it might be melodic changes. Though. Yeah, the key, chord, and tonic will be first sounded. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we're from da 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. Right, grade five. To sing and play. Okay, we get the gist of it. Oh, you gotta sing this by memory. Twice, second time. Did you change that? No. I changed my fingering. <laughs> Bro, that rhythm was a bit dog <laughs> sus. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't change it? No. Are you accenting the downbeat? Oh, before? do I have to tell you it's an upbeat? No, well, yeah, that's the thing. You're playing the upbeat as a downbeat. You can't oh, accent well, the upbeat. Like... You're going da da da. You can't do that. You can't play it upbeat like a downbeat. You gotta pray. Right, I'll give you another one. Nice. Yes. Nice. Easy. All right. Grade eight. Sing or play from memory the lowest part of a three-part phrase played twice by the examiner. Woo! Are you able to play it? Nah, let me just figure it out. <laughs> the music's falling down. Oh no. Do you have a Did I sing what you played at least? You did. Oh, yeah. nice. I think um, Horowitz would be very proud of you. Ashkenazi. As Ashkenazi, well. this is for you. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Guys, sometimes geniuses are just born, not created. Bunga bunga. Bunga bunga. Alright, AB, to sing the lower part of the two part phrase from the score with the upper part played by the examiner. I will always practice 40 hours a day. I need to practice Mr. Day. Oh! You have to look at the score actually. And then? And then you sing. Alright, we're going with uh, this one. The bottom one, the yeah. first cell. E minor. Nope. Alright. One, two, three. Really? Last one. To identify whether the modulations at the end of the two different passages are to dominant, okay. If it's a dominant, subdominant, or relative major minor. Ooh, this is hard. Ooh, la la Bunga bunga. Bunga bunga. How is your bunga bunga today? 
I'm feeling very unga bunga. Thank you very much. The art of the unga bunga. Unga bunga. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Uh, I already know it's um, dominant. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> he modulated into disaster. <laughs> That's what the modulation was. The piano's hard. Alright guys, guess which piano sound? Welcome to another episode. Goodbye. It would be very unga bunga if you remember to subscribe and like.